Hey, what's up, everyone? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be looking at how Biden and Kim McCarthy are going to be speaking soon and why this is really important, why people should be focusing on this. So, this article kind of lands out a few things. So, obviously, it's seen it, so there is some political leaning, but that is to be expected from, from every news site, right? So, basically, it's, um, they're going to be meeting to agree about the, the debt ceiling, right? If they don't reach compromise, we could, in the U.S., you know, have a go into default, which would not be good. Um, it is partisan politics, I will say, um, because you know, whenever whenever one side controls, you know, both both sections, uh, you know, the debt ceiling is never an issue. So, for instance, we saw when Trump was in office, the debt ceiling wasn't an issue; it just got it just got increased, right? Because it's Biden, it's not, which is really which sucks. But again, I just wish everyone would be like, Hey, maybe if we just will raise it, but just not as much as you, as you were saying, and maybe we can allocate some extra funds to, ch you know, lower it. But again, I don't know enough about the debt ceiling to really comment on that kind of stuff. If that even makes economical sense. Um, just because of the way it's set up. But I mean, I, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think this is obviously partisan, which I think it, it partisanship can be good in some aspects. I don't, think this is one of them. Um, Especially because it's going to have a lot of negative effects, right? It's going to hit a lot of uh, Americans that are already, you know, need, need money, right? It's going to let's see. Let's see exactly what it's due. So if lawmakers don't grant more lending authority by midsummer, Social Security requirement uh, retirement payments would be on the line. Veterans could stand to lose vital health care and living benefits. Americans whose four hundred one k funds were in stocks, <laughs> oh, that's not going to be good. Um, Buying costs for consumers would also spike possibly plunging the economy to a recession that could choke job growth and cause widespread misery. And of course, this is going to be not just in the U.S., because the U.S. is a pretty big country, obviously, and a lot of countries have invested stuff in our country and how our country has worked with a lot of countries, and we have a pretty big market. That's going to have a widespread effect across the entire, you know, globe. Um, obviously, being really, really bad in America, but obviously being bad in other countries as well. Uh, Americans should be especially worried now because the normal assumption that it would get sorted out before the typical 11th uh, hour brinkmanship is looking for a shake here. McCarthy is going in there saying, hey, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to make sure Biden, you know, will give us some, some concessions. Where Biden's saying, I'm going in there, there's no discussion having, I'm not changing anything, basically. He's saying there's no negotiations. My guess is you're go we're going to have to see, so this is what I was calling, I'd go to, I'd be like, okay, listen, I barely got the spot I have in speaker. speaker. I know that this that we're not on the same side, but I obviously think that we should have this debt ceiling, you know, you you go through. But I need to make a stand. So can you just give me like two or three things? <laughs> That's how I think it's gonna go. I think it's gonna be like he's like, listen, you don't want this on your presidency. I don't want this on my like leadership. We're gonna have to meet some kind of thing. But I, I don't know if Biden will budge. I hope he does somewhat, just because I don't want something to happen. I don't think McCarthy can budge. That's the only reason. If McCarthy budged and gave in, I'd be kind of fine with that. But I don't think he can, like, politically afford to do so. He might, just because of his people. Like, his big thing is he's saying he won't be budging. So I'm not sure what he's going to do. I really don't think he's going to, but I, I don't know. But this would be really, really bad um, if this does not go through, right? Uh, but yeah. But many Americans are concerned about government splinters in the two years. Democrats had full control of Washington following trillion dollar bills that passed on the basis of obscure Senate rules and heavy emergency health care economic outlay, uh, outlays during the pandemic. So obviously that's why Republicans don't really like that a lot. It has increased a lot. But again, this is something that will just, that just normally happens anyways, right? It increases, but it, it obviously, it, with especially with COVID, right? It increased a lot more. There's a lot more being used, but... I'm not sure. Biden said, McCarthy, look what he had to do. He had to make commitments that are absolutely off the wall for a Speaker of the House to make in terms of being able to become the leader. The bargain with the radical Republican, Republican right in, is what makes this ris such a risky situation for American people. I, I don't know if he said that. I don't think he did. Uh, I think that CNN just added that on. So, yeah, McCarthy had to give a, a lot of uh, things to more rightly, uh, yeah, like more, not, I wouldn't say far right, but more on the right. Like, and I don't. I don't know specifically. I don't look into like the the, the politics, but the the more extreme esque kind of right leaning people, he gave a lot of concessions to them uh, to you know vote for him. So I think Biden's gonna give in to a f maybe like a very very small amount of things, and I think McCarthy's gonna have to give in to a few very very small things. This is my guess. The both going to give into very small things. That be like, look, we did something. People be like, well, you didn't really do much, but at least you did something. That's my guess. Um, 
because I don't think e- either of them want to have this on their shoulders, right? To be like, oh yeah, this is not going to. So let's get your thoughts on this. I think it's a really bad situation all around. I hope it gets resolved. I don't really care who budges, right? I mean, I just hope it, like someone budges. So let me know what you guys think down below. Love you all so much. And I'll see you next video. Bye everybody. Peace, peace.